Okay, what we're going to do here is just change the resolution of the x-axis, which is my cross side, um, so that if you're cutting around piece, and it actually reads how much you're taking off the diameter, not just the radius. Um, this is a MTech 2i from the Dro store or the DRO store.com. I bought this off eBay. Um, it's from Singapore, I think. Seems decent. The glass scales are okay. Tested the accuracy with um, dial indicators and everything looks good. But this is one problem I had and uh, it took me a while to figure this out. So to change the x-axis resolution, what you're actually going to do is touch this little S. I didn't realize that was a button for a long time. So I hit this. I guess first I'll show you how it was working before. I just canceled out of that. So I'm going to move my cross slide 10,000 and uh, it shows up as 10,000 on the digital readout, which you may want to operate it that way. And that's how I operate most of the time. But when I'm cutting um, off of a round piece or I, you know, I'm, I'm machining it down, I kind of want to know what the diameter is so I can zero out if I know a diameter, or even punch that original diameter in here. And uh, if I have the resolution change on the x-axis, I can actually show what the new diameter is as I machine. So to do that, you hit this little blue button. Up here, in this menu, it comes up with a list of different options. And I go down, um, uh, you can go up too, but I just keep going until I see parameter setup. Then I hit enter. It's going to ask you for a code. Um, the contact in Singapore said all the codes are 3211. Hit that, it goes right into setup parameters. Now there's other options, this is the one I want to use. So it's on setup parameters, or setup P-A-R-S-E. Um, I'm going to hit enter on that, and then it shows what my resolutions are on the x-axis. Now I want to select the x, or x and y, but I want to select the x, and now I want to make that um, go to 0 0.001, or yeah, 0 0.01. So I actually hit down, and it changes my resolution to double what it was, which it makes sense. Now, for every whatever this distance you move, it's going to read that, so it's doubling your distance, which is what you want to do on a diameter setup. So I change that to 10, hit enter, um, cancel out of the whole setup parameters thing. It, it automatically sets your scale to its original point, so I'm going to zero that. And now that x-axis resolution should be changed. So I'm going to move 10 thou on my cross slide here, and uh, it should show up as 20 thou on here. And it does. So that's how you change your parameters. We'll go through here and again to change it back. I hit that little secret button. Oh, no, it's under the S, so I'll call it my secret button. Um, find the correct menu, which is parameter setup. Hit enter. Punch in your code. 3211. Um, setup pars, or P-A-R-S-E. I'm going to hit enter shows what they're set at, highlight my x-axis, I'm going to go up this time so it's the same. You have other options here, um, so you could custom tailor it for what you want. I, uh, that's that's one to one, right? That's where you're going to use it most of the time and most chances are the only one you're going to use is that for your cross side, but uh, there is other options if you want to fool around, maybe it's for different scales or something. But anyway, so that's back to stock configurations. I hit enter, cancel out of it by hitting that twice. It zeroes your scale again, or sets it back to its reference point, so I zero it. Now move my uh, cross slide 10 thou, and uh, it reads 10 thou again. So that's how you can change your uh, cross slide resolution. Um, you could do the y axis too, but I don't really see a reason to do it. I hope that helps someone because it took me quite a while to find that. Anyways, catch you later.